What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video we're going to give the SWX Epic some love. We are basically doing the whole drivetrain, um, not everything but most of it. We are looking at a new chain ring from C6, um, we're going to do some um, pulley wheels from C6 as well. We've got an XX1 gold cassette from SRAM and then we've got an XX1 black um, chain also from SRAM. I'm going to put all these things up um, uh, onto the bike, we'll see how it looks, we'll see how the shifting is. Uh, I'm looking at these components and they look very very good and the quality is super good. So I'm going to put it onto the bike, um, we'll see how it works, we'll see how it shifts. Um, I'll show you guys as I go and then I'll give my honest opinion afterwards. Um, I'm going to weigh the two chain rings and see if there's maybe any difference between it. Um, we'll do a comparison on how they look next to each other. But I'm a big fan of the C6 components. I've got one on my bike as well. Um, I've only recently found out about the derailleur pulleys. So I'll definitely be changing mine to these. Um, because they say these makes a massive difference. It's got seal bearings that's replaceable, etc. I'll get into that just now. But um, let's give this S-Works Epic some love. You guys might be asking yourself why spend that much more money on a gold group set um, it's not actual gold um, some people like the look of it and some people just don't but there's actually a very good reason why this group set or the XX1 gold is a bit more expensive than the normal um, or the other color um, from XX1 var variants now I've went on to SRAM and I made sure about this um, I only thought it was on the chains, but actually it's on the cassette itself as well. And what they say here is, we use special gold colored titanium nitrate coating in many areas of our drivetrain for the Eagle XX1. It is extremely expensive, but provides decreased friction and wear, and better corrosion protection than traditional finishes. So, I always just thought it looked better, well, way in the beginning I know about the coating on the chains and so on, but I just always thought it looked cool and so on. But there is the fact that you are paying a bit more for the gold group set because it's got a hardened coating on it to make the group set just last that much longer. Now it's not going to be thousands of kilometers, I believe, but I do believe it'll make you, it'll make it worth it. Um, that little bit of extra kilometers you can put on your group set on the chain on the cassette, um, it makes a difference. So for the three or four hundred bucks, I'd say it's worth it. Now let's put it onto the bike and see how it looks. Hi right, guys, before I show you the bike, I cannot um, say this enough. You guys see that little white um, part in there, that's a little plastic part. It's basically the part that you loop so that this whole part here on the inside can move. And now that's the part that screws onto your XT drive and screws off it. Now, yes, this one is serviced and luckily this one, um, this cassette or cluster we need to replace at the moment because this thing is starting to get shot on the inside in other words I can grease it and I can clean it as much as I want to it's just a couple of days or a couple of weeks then that thing it kind of seizes on the inside and then it's stuck in there again and I don't know if you guys will see it on the video but I actually had to call in Tulani to help me to remove that thing because it was on there it wasn't tight on the XT drive that thing just wouldn't turn um, so just remember that you put some oil and lubrication on that because it does make a massive difference. 
Now I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. There's not really any weight difference between the C6 components and the um, XX1 components. The one thing I do need to apologize for is I thought it's a XX1 black chain and it's not. It's actually a SRAM X01 Eagle chain. So it's an X01 chain that's black, which looks very nice. Um, I didn't think this would look good on the bike, but with the C6 components and but. If you look with the same eyes that, I, that I'm looking, you can see all the small things that's been changed and that makes the big difference on the bike. So we've done a chain ring, we've done a chain, we've done jockey pulley wheels with, which looks insane. I promise you as soon as I can I'm going to put this on my bike. And then obviously that golden cassette or cluster. On the complete black bike it does pop out a little bit, which I'm not too big of a fan, um, but it doesn't look that bad. So let me show you guys this and all the things we've changed on this bike just now. guys so this might be a super short video but if you enjoyed this video we do a lot of these type of videos um, where we just put new things on bikes and just make them look a little bit better I've actually got an idea for the next video it's not an idea it's something that I've done before but I've had many many guys ask me how to do this and like I said I've done this before but stay tuned for the next video then I'll show you guys the easiest way to install this um, but for now thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoy your day be strong stay safe and maybe give this video a thumbs up or a like or a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this bike, if it makes a difference. And if you guys do like the golden group set on this um, completely black bike. And tell me what you guys think about all the C6 components. I think these are really, really um, good quality components. These are made in South Africa, um, but it's also worldwide available. And uh, I think it's a pretty, pretty cool um, item um, on your bike. I've got a 36 oval on my bike. Oh, this is a normal 34 round. But I think they look very, very good. So let me know what you guys think. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.